previously on Let's Plant. So the last time I was working on this, it was mainly about creating the foundations and finding the most efficient way to do it. Instead of digging 50 centimeters down, I've instead chosen to go 30 centimeters down and raise the soil level by another 20 centimeters. That should save me some time and effort digging, because as it turns out, digging isn't quite as easy. Another thing I found out through the course of doing this is that I could just set up the post and place the planks on top of it and just check using the spirit levels and see if they're level. This is easier than having to check on it every single part of the way, you know, checking the ground, checking the ground level, and aligning it perfectly. Doing it this way saves me a bit of time from doing precise measurements. We have to love modern technology, man. Also, it's Zach's turn today. So. We're in the garden, then. Yeah? Hot. Yeah, it's hot outside. Let's go. <laughs> this is where we left off. I got these two posts right where I need them. It looks like they are levels, so now I have to drop rocks all over the base and fill it back up so I could get a 20 centimeters above ground. From there, I could start adding the sleepers for this side of the wall and I could start working on the other sides. Another shortcut I found, well if you remember this planks, each of the sleeper is 200 or 20 centimeters in width and I needed to create a clearance of 20 centimeters there. It's a perfect height. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Come here. Come here. Uh, can you sit down there? Sit down there? Yeah. So they're the perfect height if I just lay them, rest them on top of, the, of these planks. Then it would give me a better idea, give me a very good idea of whether I have them level or not. Blue water! Blue water! <laughs> <laughs>
The interesting thing about these sleepers, the upright system, is that the corner joints are shaped a bit differently. There's an offset, so if this is this corner, this corner starts here. And if you can imagine, there's a space, a gap, which means that this side would be shorter than this side. And to compensate, I would need to chop off a bit of this one. Now, in order to figure that out, I would need to measure how much longer this is than this one and shorten it. part assembly I know I have yet to add more rocks at the bottom and it would be a lot easier if this was out of the way but it's getting late now and I really like to see how it looks like with everything in so I'll go get the rest of the plaques. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. That's Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Gloria Ninotti, Damien Narvaez, Linda, and everyone else. Thank you so much. Without your help, I would not be able to do this. It might be a while before I could backfill these planters, so I'll be working on the other parts of the garden for the meantime. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on the next things that I'll be doing here. You could also check out my Instagram, that's Sariska Pates, and I post a photo of an Echeveria every single day under the hashtag DayLechevaria. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.